Alrighty guys, hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Countersite. I'm going to be two, doing two videos in this game in, in the next week or so. This one, which is going to be a first impressions kind of video, which is just going to be my first impressions. And then we're going to be doing a second video with one of my friends, um, Drim, who we are going to basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing uh, a video on like, is the game to pay to win or is it free to play friend, free to play friendly? So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to channels of new guys. Now, first impressions of the game are so so in some aspects and great in other areas so one aspect of the game that's really really great is uh they give you a lot of five uh three style like the ssr characters for essentially for free i've literally been playing just today i haven't spent any money on the game and i've been able to get all this uh these essentially uh ssrs which i think is pretty damn good I've also been to get uh, one of them to six stars and a bunch of them to five and four stars with very little issues in the game. It's been pretty good. As you can see though, I'm pretty low on standard at the moment, so I won't really be able to do too much in the way of content. So basically the reason I was able to do this is because one, when it loads, uh, the attendance awards are pretty great. You get things like tickets to summon with, you get a bunch of resources and mats. Uh, it's really, really good. But the main other thing has just been the events. Some of these events are kind of insane in some of the stuff they give you. Like they give you like level up materials, grinding materials, currency. Like this one just straight up, I haven't completed this one yet, but this one at the end of it just straight up gives you an SSR, which is pretty great. And a bunch of other materials and other things. This one here uh, gives you an SSR for completing it, but it also gives you, where is it? Uh, let me find it. Which day was it on? Another SSR. So you basically get two SSRs from this event, plus other materials, plus like summoning materials, plus currency, plus EXP, and a bunch of other stuff. And if that wasn't enough, now unfortunately I was too late to join the game because I only started my account yesterday, but you could also, if you completed this event, you could also get a free SSR from this as well, which is pretty insane. So as you can see, I've gotten uh, healed here. Uh, I've got a bunch of really good characters. I'm currently going through the progress of like leveling them all up. Um, as you can see, I've got most of my team to like 70, above 70 now, the, the team that I, at least I'm running. So let's just jump into some combat and I'll show you that essentially. Now this is where the game kind of falls off for me a wee little bit. So I like the idea of the concept, uh, the combat and the concept of it. And they've improved one very significant thing from the C server, which is where they had used to have like a, a grid kind of thing and you used to have to like fight the enemy. They've removed that. We had to like fight enemies on a grid and then do the enemies. I hated that. That was so stupid. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you don't. Um, but anyways, let's just jump into things. And I had, there's a couple of issues I have with the combat and I'll explain what they kind of are. So. First thing first, I like the idea of having like two bases and you have to essentially defeat enemies and destroy the enemy space. I like the idea of that combat in itself. I think that's actually a pretty good idea for a combat loop. Now the problem is, as you're going to start seeing the more characters I put down, even you can even see it now with the two characters I've only put down now, it starts getting very, very cluttered and the camera is kind of kind of wonky like when different things are happening in the scene it'll kind of like snap around to different things happening, which is kind of not what you want. Which is, uh, which is not great, uh, because it can make it a little bit hard to kind of interact with things. Like, the interface just gets really, really messy. I'll put it back onto auto two times, and you'll start seeing just, like, how just all over the place, it snaps around, it jumps, animations go over the top of each other. Like, it just, it just, like, you have no idea what's going on. You have to, like, really focus in to be able to understand things. It's just so much visual clutter that to the point where it's just, like, it's kind of ridiculous. That's the only bad thing I have to say about the combat. I do like the strategicness to some of it. Um, but yeah, this visual clutter is, uh, I can't say positive things about it, even if I wanted to. Like, it's just, it's too much visual clutter on the screen all at once. The animations are nice, don't get me wrong, but not with having 20 of them happening all at once. It's a bit of an issue. Which is just, I, I don't want to knock it for that, but it, it's true. The animation's uh, not great. The combat isn't like anything revolutionary. It's just like your standard kind of like action-based combat where you put down a unit, it does the thing, you don't control it, and you just hit like the ultimate abilities. You just got a time when you put the units down, basically. That's about it that really is to it. So that's the main story mode. There's also your standard supply uh, stuff to basically get a bunch of resources. You can get gold from here, and these are infinitely repeatable. You only get a small amount of them though, but you can also do simulations to get larger amounts of these things. So you can go in here and get some EXP books, 
Um, these, uh, I think they're called like training manuals, uh, special appraisal and high appraisal. These can essentially increase your character's levels and you only get a limited amount of them per day. You get uh, tickets for each one, as you can see down here. These tickets up here. Uh, there's also side stories, which I haven't really gone to doing just yet, but there's a bunch of those, as you guys can kind of see. Challenge modes, which give you a bunch of different various awards. The counter cases, these are just like story kind of mission things. And then there's uh, free content and any event content mode stages that are on running at the moment. I'm not really going to go into that too much because I can't really do too many of them. You then also have your gauntlet, which is your PvP. This is one of the big selling points of this game is its PvP. Uh, I can't really jump into that one right now. I don't know if I can do the ranked either. I'm probably going to lose if I try to attempt this. Let's just, let's just try a ranked fight. But this is one of the big selling points of the game. Uh, I'm going to lose this because I haven't really started playing this too much. I'm only like literally started today. So I'm not expecting to win this. Um, but yeah. This is like the general gist of the kind of game. This is one of the big things people play this game for. So keep that in mind when you're playing this game. PvP is a big selling point for this game. And if you don't like that, that's going to turn you off immediately. I would suggest uh, just running away now <laughs> because it's a big part of the game. You can play the game and kind of ignore it, but you're not really going to want to. It's a, it's a pretty big part of the game. Like you're you're going to be doing this whether you want to or not. Like it, it's kind of just how it is. I think I'm going to lose this though. Um, probably should have waited to bring Hilda out, but that's fine. I'm so used to playing on like two times speed. Actually, never mind. I lie. We're going to win this. <laughs> I can tell already. Oh, actually, maybe not. Maybe maybe not. They they actually decently upgraded my Hilda. Actually, might uh, lose this. Oh my god! I need to get some more units down. Come on. Wow, we're all right. yeah, no, we're actually gonna lose. Okay, yeah, I figured I was gonna lose. They're gonna, they're gonna flip it around. I mean, this kind of always happens. I'm just gonna get some units down. I did not place it there. Wait, why didn't I place the unit? Oh, because it's an auto mode. I put it on auto mode like a dumbass. Yeah, so we're gonna lose this. I can already tell, but that's that's fine. I wasn't expecting to win anyways. Um, wow, well, yeah, they're actually quite a bit more get up than I am. So this is gonna be uh, chalk up to loss. Unfortunately, so. Oh, I should have been paying attention. All right, no, I know I definitely lost now. Okay, GG's. Uh, I stopped paying attention there because I thought I already lost, so I didn't bother. I should have just pulled more units there. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm not trying to rank too hard at the moment anyways. <clears throat> yeah, everyone's just more powerful than me because they started like two, three weeks ago now, but I'm, I'm very behind. Um, but anyways, guys, that's generally just a PvP. That's how it kind of plays out. There's a manual PvP and an auto PvP. Um... And yeah, that's pretty, that's a pretty big part of the game. So just be prepared to, if you're going to be playing this game, you're going to be doing it. You then also have your uh, tried and true dispatch mode. So this is going to be something you're going to be doing every single day. Uh, you'll get various different resources and stuff on these. You want to be doing these as well, because a lot of the event missions require you to do these things to clear. Now, <clears throat> do I think the game is decently free to play friendly in terms of summons? I do think it is decently free to play friendly. However, there can be some issues that might arise that I might realize later on where after playing the game for like a month or so or a couple weeks so i'm gonna hold off on doing that until i've uh, determining whether the game is free to play until i play do my free to play video like whether the game is free to play or not uh and that's gonna be in about uh, a few weeks so and so let's just do some summons um i'm gonna do some on the sigma banner <clears throat> even though i do already have him uh i just want to get some duplicates if i can so we didn't get anything there, we just got a bunch of three stars, and I'm going to do just seven of these. I do like as well that you can do whatever, however many summons for the currency amount you've got. I do like that, it's not just like locked off at ten. So we've got a new member, let's see what we get. So there was no robot there, so I'm assuming we're not getting anything here. And it was also purple. So we'll just go through a bit slower through this one, so this one's a bit longer. But the good thing about this game, even the rare art is like all 2D live animated, which I think is actually really, really cool. Uh, it's a nice touch to have in a game that um, you're not going to be using these characters, but it's still a nice touch to have in the game. Oh, we got a mission complete. Let's see what we got there for that. Yeah, but this is the general gist of the game. I've just been kind of going through and playing it. I'm playing on a uh, LD player, so which is the PC Android emulator, if you guys want to know. But I have been playing on my phone as well, and it has been a fairly decent experience. The game runs smoothly and well, well pretty well. Uh, just whatever, I'll add some friends. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, that's basically the general gist of Counterside. I'll be making, like I said, an updated video in the future, going over whether the game is free to play friendly or not. Hopefully you guys will stick around for that. If you do want to see it, consider subscribing and liking the video. Bye, guys. Have a good one.